Here it is in glorious high definition, the Super Nintendo controller. And is this thing super? That's the big question. Is this an improvement over the original Nintendo Entertainment System controller? And I think it certainly is. It's rounded for one thing. You don't have those sharp edges jabbing into your hands. Here we have four buttons instead of the previous two from the NES controller and buttons up top as well as a select button and a start button and here's your d-pad this is model number sns005 made in japan stylistically it's really not that exciting it's not a bad looking controller but it's not one of the better looking ones either if we take a look closely at the parts on this thing on the d-pad for instance i personally find it to be a bit small and the edges are a little bit sharp as well it is textured however so you can get a grip on it when you're playing video games and there's nothing wrong with it in any way it's a standard d-pad so it works well for shooters and fighting games and pretty much anything else select and start buttons are cushiony little rubber things and here is the y x a and b button you can also take a look at some of the molding around the buttons perhaps you can feel which button you're pushing depending on the feel of the button but you know once you're playing video games with this thing you pretty much get the hang of it right away one nice thing about the super nintendo controller is that they give you a whole lot of wire and the plug is this big fat thing this is way way larger than the one for the original nintendo entertainment system this is a fairly versatile controller in that it's easy to use and effective for a variety of different styles of video games like driving games or spaceship shooting games, adventure games, Mario Brothers games, and Street Fighter 2, video games that required more than just one or two buttons to work properly. So I think this is an important controller to look at in that it comes from the era right at the beginning of the era when these game companies were starting to fill their controllers with buttons. This has six usable buttons for the most part, unless you start adding these two into it. Uh, what, what do we have now? If you look at the Xbox controller, there's buttons all over the place. So uh, it, still it still retains that old school simplicity, but you're starting to see the, the modern era of multiple buttons everywhere. When you look past all of those details, the Super Nintendo controller is about as standard, bland, and average as any video game controller out there. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's light, it's plastic, it's hard, it's practically indestructible. It says Super Nintendo, it has a textured surface on it, and you get the feeling you could run over this with a car and really not cause very much damage uh, to the controller or the, or the car. The uh, big controversy out there is that the Sony PlayStation controller ripped off the Super Nintendo controller. And here's the controversial part of this classic game room review because to be honest with you I don't get the sense that there's a whole lot in common between these two controllers. Now for all I know they did rip it off I have no idea but obviously the button placement for the finger buttons is fairly similar but when you get past that and you look at these things side by side and feel them and feel the weight of this and the weight of this and just the it's these things I don't know what they'd be called but you wrap your fingers around these when you hold the Sony PlayStation controller. This is more of, a, of just a simple two-dimensional gamepad in a sense. It doesn't really have these things that you grip onto with your fingers and that's where I really don't see much similarity between these two. This to me is just an upgraded Nintendo Entertainment System controller with a couple additional buttons put, in, uh, put up on top here which personally I find a little bit awkward to get at. I'm not really too wild about these things. If you look on the back of this, it's smooth. If you look on the back of the Sony PlayStation controller, it is, it's smooth, but it's curved. So your fingers fit into that. This does not play Super Nintendo games, whereas this does. Therefore, if you want to play Super Nintendo and you only have two controllers here, this is the one to go with.